Welcome to day 10 of all things breastfeeding and breast milk. Today we're going to discuss building your milk stash. Do you need or want extra milk for say back to work, vacation, give to the babysitter or send with your child to daycare, the weaning process, or even for selling or donations? Building a milk stash is key. I built a milk stash of over 238 bags of milk while on maternity leave. Let me help you build a milk stash as big as mine, or maybe even bigger. Welcome everyone to the Mama Nurse channel. I'm Vanessa, and here we discuss all things nursing, motherhood, and lifestyle. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Comment down below. Have you ever built a milk stash or are you in the process of building one? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any uploads. The first thing you need to do in order to build your milk stash is start. Start today. It's the easiest part of this process. Once you start, it's just keeping up with that momentum. Just make sure that you're about four to six weeks post delivery. Step two, set a routine. Whether you choose to nurse first or pump first, the choice is yours. Just make sure that you are consistent with both. Personally, I choose to nurse first. That's just my personal preference. I prefer to have my baby at ease when he or she is nursing and get all the milk that they need. I would rather have the pump struggle for milk rather than my baby. And number three in building your milk stash, pump and store. Now that you have started and set your routine, including your night sessions, now you can just pump and store. Everything you pump, just put it in a storage bag and put it in your freezer. Preferably, put only about one to four ounces per bag. Anything more than that, you'll experience leakage or opening of your bags. Milk expands when you put it in the freezer, so you wanna keep the maximum per bag at about four ounces. It is okay to separate your bags into say two ounce bags if you pump a bottle of maybe six ounces. You could do two and four or you could do three and three. It doesn't matter just as long as it's less than four ounces. And step four, repeat this process endlessly. Now you just need to repeat this process each day and each night. Grab the pump schedule guide if you don't know when you should be pumping at night. I'll leave it down in the description box. You should even be continuing this schedule when you return back to work. You can occasionally pull from this stash for any reason. Just make sure that as you're using those bags, you are replenishing them. Now that this milk is in the freezer, the CDC guidelines state to use it within six months or a maximum of 12 months. You would want to occasionally rotate your milk so that the oldest milk is more accessible. You want to use the oldest milk first. You would know it's the oldest milk because on each individual bag, you would want to put your date and time if you're particular on the fat content of your milk on each bag that you produce. My biggest tip in keeping my milk stash organized was getting larger quart size storage bags and organizing the milk by month. I would put the month and the year on the larger bag, store it in there. That way, when it came to rotating out the milk, it was larger bags to just move around. That way I had the oldest milk more accessible for myself and my spouse. This is my milk stash organization video if you want to check it out to see exactly how I did it. Once you have built your milk stash, you can use this milk for vacations, giving to the babysitter or sending to daycare, for bonding sessions with your partner, or for bottle training. You can even use it during your weaning process or for milk baths. Now, if you notice that you have an abundance of supply of breast milk, you can always donate or sell this breast milk for mothers in need. You may end up being a blessing to someone. Just please be careful if you do decide to go this route of selling or donating your breast milk. Do you have any other questions on building a milk stash? Comment your questions down below. As always, I hope this information was beneficial to you. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, all love.